stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Casey. And I'm Maddie. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today. Accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here is our reporter, Jack, with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I feel absolutely innocent. I didn't do anything. My client is so offended that the court would say this. You've been caught. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? My twin brother. He framed me. My client would like to request a DNA test. Well, what do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing but a dangerous criminal? Um, um, help me out, lawyer. My, my client is no criminal. These charges should be dropped immediately. There is no evidence. No evidence. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Add Our Breadcrumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Van was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. I'm I'm here in far away jet. Hello, I'm Van and I'm with Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich from finding all those old jewels in the old witch's house. How are you going to spend this money? Well, I'm going to buy my money on a big chocolate factory and a chocolate mansion with a chocolate river. It's going to be so delicious. I'm going to buy myself a mansion and some luxury cars. It sounds like Hansel is addicted to chocolate. Hansel, you're back in great shape. After being fanned up, how did you do it? Well, um, I got a treadmill, I went to the gym, I got a guy for a piece of string with a chocolate on the end and I had to try to get the chocolate and I got it and it was very yummy. That's great to hear. What have you learned from this experience? That being kidnapped can sometimes be good. That you can get big fat chocolate houses. That's kind of strange, but okay. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck on the ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. All is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of the album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter van. Thank you Casey and hello everyone. I'm Van here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And hello and smooches to you both. Now, your classic love story was where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going between you two? Well, I decided to have a divorce. Yeah, I realised that this ring was fake. This one. Yes, just last night. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that, that, that's very sad. Yeah. It seems you're not that disappointed yet your wife is divorcing you. So you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is the reality of living with the exact, with the complete opposite? 
it gets really annoying because um, he's so hairy and I don't really like it. You know that I'm self-conscious of my hair. Then you should save for shave a bit more, Beast. Your recently awaited album did not sell well and your fashion label label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Well, I'm going to go over to the, um, the prince. Yeah, he's way hotter than this furry thing. Yeah. I'm going to go get myself some beasts. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future and your divorce papers. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Van. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Millie. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, there will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The birds will shine, the sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm, you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it will be fee fifo freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Casey, it's his pup. Thanks, Lily. That's all for tonight, although we've just had a word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry, and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe. From the whole team at Once Upon a Crime, good night. Bye.